Shipbuilder Huntington Ingalls Industries announced that it's received a contract to build a 10th Virginia-class submarine for the U.S. Navy. Viewers may note that in 2019, the U.S. Navy had awarded its largest ever shipbuilding contract to General Dynamics Electric Boat. The Virginia class is built through an industrial arrangement designed to sustain both General Dynamics Electric Boat and Huntington Ingalls Newport News, the only two U.S. shipyards capable of building nuclear-powered submarines. The deal had the provision for the U.S. Navy to add a tenth boat and this option has been exercised. The addition has brought the total cost of the original contract to $24.1 billion. Jason Ward, Vice President of Virginia Class Submarine Construction at Newport New Shipbuilding, said, We are pleased that Congress supported the restoration of funding for the 10th Virginia Class boat in Block 5. He added in the press release, We look forward to building and delivering the final boat of the block that maintains production at two submarines per year and continues to stabilize the industrial base. Construction of the vessel, which has not yet been named, will begin by 2024. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the 10 Block 5 Virginia-class attack submarines of the U.S. Navy are good enough to pin down the entire Chinese Navy. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder's been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. Virginia class, sometimes referred to as SSN-774 class, is a class of nuclear-powered fast attack submarines in service with the United States Navy. Virginia class is designed to replace older Los Angeles class submarines, many of which have already been decommissioned. The Virginia class was intended in part as a less expensive alternative to the Seawolf class submarines whose production run was stopped after just three boats had been completed. The submarines of Virginia class are designed for a broad spectrum of open ocean and littoral missions. Their primary purpose is to take out the enemy's surface combatants and submarines, and the secondary task is to execute land attack missions. The Virginia class ushered in many technological advances in submarine construction. It's the first to use photonic sensors instead of a traditional periscope. Block 5 will see many upgrades, the most important of which is the Virginia Payload Module, or VPM. The first boat in Block 5, SSN-802, is currently under construction, but doesn't have VPM. The next boats, starting from 803, will have VPM. An 85-foot section will be added to nine new Virginia submarines. This will add more capabilities like enabling them to have VPM carry more weapons, and deliver special operations forces. The addition of the section is expected to increase the length from 377 feet to 460 feet and displacement from around 7,800 tons to 10,200 tons. All the boats will have an upgraded acoustic suite when compared to Block 4. Virginia-class Block 5 will be even more deadly when compared to previous variants. These can be configured with the combination of the following weapons based on mission. 1. Four 533mm torpedo tubes for the Mark 48 torpedo. There's a capacity to carry up to 26 Mark 48 torpedoes in the weapons chamber. These torpedoes have a range in excess of 50 kilometers or 31 miles and can be used to take out enemy submarines and surface vessels. 2. With the addition of VPM, a total of 40 Tomahawk cruise missiles can be accommodated. 
28 in VPM and 12 in the sub's bow. 3. The boats will also be able to lay different types of mines, including the Mark 60 Captor encapsulated torpedo mines. 4. An integral lockout lock in chamber is incorporated into the hull for special operations. The chamber can host a mini submarine, such as Northrop Grumman's Advanced SEALs delivery system, that can be used to transport special warfare forces, such as Navy SEAL teams. While Tomahawk has been around for a long time, the latest Block 5 variant of the missile is a major upgrade. Block 5 will see crucial upgrades to the missile's communication and navigation systems. This will make it hard for the enemy to jam the missile with electronic countermeasures. This will mean that more missiles will be able to navigate unhindered to the target and hit them. Raytheon's Tomahawk program manager told reporters at an event at the missile plant in Tucson, Arizona, that the navigation system upgrades will ensure the missile can strike targets even if GPS is taken down. As of now, Block 5 will have two variants, 5A and 5B. The Block 5A variant is called Maritime Strike. It will have a new seeker capable of hitting a moving target, so it could be used to target a rival's surface combatants. The target information in the variant could be updated in flight. The warhead will be geared towards destroying enemy warships. This is a game changer, since the missile, which has a range of around 1,000 miles or 1,600 kilometers, will be able to take down enemy surface vessels from a standoff distance. People's Liberation Army Navy has a fleet of conventionally powered as well as nuclear powered submarines. There are four nuclear powered submarines. Type 092 and Type 094 are ballistic missile subs, whereas Type 091 submarine and Type 093 submarine are attack subs. The conventionally powered submarines consist of Wan class, Kilo class, Song class, and Ming class. The surface fleet consists of aircraft carriers, destroyers, amphibious dock landing ships, and stealth missile boats. While the fleet is impressive when it comes to quantity, the quality has a lot to be desired. The Chinese subs are noisy when compared to American and European ones. Also, the ability of the Chinese surface fleet to detect the Virginia-class submarine is suspect. U.S. Navy has a lot of expertise in planning and execution which will help it pin down the Chinese assets using Block 5 Virginia-class submarines and knock them off one by one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.